As we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons to make some long stories short. We keep hearing people eat junk food because it's cheaper. USA Today now says you have no excuse because they say that healthy food is no more expensive than junk food. According to a new government report, it says carrots, bananas, orange juice are actually cheaper than ice cream, fries, or chocolate. Now that's something for us mm. to think about. Chocolate's good for you, though, so it's a health food, too, right? There you go. Uh, the New York Post has a bags to riches story. A preschool teacher was cleaning out her cluttered purse in April, found some lottery tickets she'd bought almost a year ago. Uh, one of them was a million dollar winner. And get this, if she had waited much longer, she would have missed the deadline because the deadline is Saturday. Nice way to find a little cash. I'm going to go clean out my purse mm -hmm, today. Me too. Our Indianapolis affiliate Wish TV tells us about six high school seniors who were suspended two days for a prank. They put 11,000 post-it notes all over the school. The janitor, who was in on it, let them in after hours. He's been fired. No fair, no fair. Yesterday, almost 60 students demanded that the janitor be rehired, and then they were suspended. Yikes. The school backed off of that, so they let the kids back to school, but we still don't know about the janitor, so uh, I don't like that. No. The janitor should get his job back. It's a sticky situation. But um bum Ching. The New York <laughs> Daily News says Robert Downey Jr. could make $50 million from the Avengers, which is a lot more than his co-stars will get. That's because Downey negotiated his cushy deal after those successful Iron Man movies, which is, you know, working out well, too, for all those around him. And maybe his agent will get a few new clients off that. I think so, too. Our Southern Colorado station, that would be KKTV, hello to you, looks at a controversy. After a student was told to dress up as Martin Luther King Jr. for a school project, the second grader used makeup to darken his face. Then the principal said the costume was a disruption, so he told the boy to remove the makeup or leave the school. The boy's parents took him home. No word on what happened to that project. Mm. And here's a little video that we really liked yesterday. We ran out of time, though. So from the Huffington Post, a little girl walks onto a soccer field to console her dad. He's a Dutch soccer player. It was a really tough loss. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Heartwarming, right? Right. Dad wasn't really into it. Yeah. She tried, though. <laughs> That's LSS. I know. Whenever I see a ch child video, I go, oh, God, not another child video. And then you see that and go, but well, that, was pretty that's good. pretty good. I feel badly about that little second grader who was sent home because I think he meant no disrespect. Right. Maybe people could say it was in poor taste, but he was just really trying to pay tribute to someone that he admires. So yes. I think, I don't know. I think we're sometimes a little sensitive mm, about a little. race.